Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Red Dead Redemption. I uh, so in this episode, I am going to talk to Molly O'Shea to start off with, and I might be able to do another one. I can't quite remember what this mission entails, but I'm sure I'm about to find out. Uh, before I get started though, if you could leave a like for this uh, video, and maybe a comment down below, and if you haven't done so already, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. Hey, Arthur. Yes, I'm getting there. C can I have a quick word? I'll be right there now. Uh, yeah, so now that I've got out of the way, let's get him. Uh, yeah, let's get a start, shall we? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. <laughs> you just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. Well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> Well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. It is weird seeing Uncle ride out with us. Come on then, you miserable bastards. Yeah! How you get wind of this, old man? We only been down here all in five minutes. Well, while you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, if you don't want in on this, Williamson, that's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you've scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the roads. <laughs> I've been watching them. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Yep, that's a good idea. Now they'll be <coughs> passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There. Nobody needs See to, you know but people <laughs> will. Like After all, it's not that kind of game. It's not that kind of game where everything has to go smoothly, you know? to get shot but this is a mistake i work for cornwall kerosene and tar mr leviticus cornwall oh great <laughs> so you know him? <laughs> who doesn't i hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. oh he'll miss it shit hey think i say something oh great let's go arthur let's go yeah <laughs> 
so so far this job has given us given Leviticus Cornwall another reason to hate us and we are being chased across the countryside by bloodthirsty mercenaries it's probably more productive to have uncle not arrange jobs then again every job we've done so far has turned out like this I think they're all dead, well, most of them are anyway. The ones that are closest. Time to ride! Oh god. Yeah, dig in, but where are we going? Or is it just one of those occasions where they just give up? They just they stop chasing us. I think it's one of those occasions. Never see our horses again. Get out of here, go on. I'll see you later. Alright. Let's get out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh get some rest. Try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to. Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. Get out here. Get out I mean, let's I just keep this there. calm. Do See what there. happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I, 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 why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Good, good. Tell me what you heard. I don't... Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. We could have just snuck out of the barn when they were having that little con... I mean, I could have jumped out that wing to that guy. Like I said, it wouldn't be an action-adventure game if uh, we did that. Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. This place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. God damn it, Bill. I don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! <laughs> looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellas! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Oh, that was a headshot. We got more of the bastards on this side. Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's going up to security. More of them. How do we get out of here? Okay, this is taking the piss. We need to leave. Food, cool. Got some food. Uh, I need some brandy or something. There you go. Really, it's not the time, the best time to be stuffing my face, but whatever. Needs must. We say that, but, you know, we did end up shooting those guys anyway. The hell am I saying? That's terrible. And move. We, we earned 950, I got 112. Uh, okay, what's up? What's next? What have we got to do? Um, kind of close to Lenny. Uh, uh. And then Bo. Alright, I'll go and see Lenny.
All right, that wasn't uh, too bad. That was pretty fun. What have I done? I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything. Oh my god. That's from a mission. Oh, I can't... Honestly, the... Oh, that can't happen, can it? Ah, oh, you've got to be shitting me. Really. It really is just my luck, though. The only problem with this game, and it's kind of a problem with online as well, once you've bought all the upgrades at camp, you're pretty much set when it comes to money. You, you know, it's not like you can invest in businesses or anything like that. Uh, GTA style. In GTA, it's very hard to get enough money. You know, you need a ton to get to buy everything. But in this game, when you get to a certain point, you just bought everything. So you, you know. Any money you get from jobs at a certain point in the game is just surplus. It's just money you have on you when you finish the game. I mean, ammo in this game costs a dollar for revolvers. You know, so it's like you're spending a lot. And for a lot of it, you do get upgrades, you do, you do get supplies from camp. So, yeah, money, weird commodity in, uh, in this game. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, money, money is a weird commodity in this game, which makes it even weirder when you consider that there's so many ways to earn money. Okay, who have I got? I gotta go see Lenny. Lenny! Where are you, Lenny? Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well... Worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some Sounds place like called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. How, how is it that these people still are a gang, though? I can't. I, I have no idea like what date the American Civil War was year-wise. Right then, let's go. Like off the top of my head, it must have been what this must have been like what like 30, 40 years after it, maybe. If there's still people around fighting that war. Uh, or less. Could have been less time. My, my unfortunately, my memory of Call of Juarez, bound in, bound in blood, isn't spot Come on. on. Come on, it's this way. On me. Cha.
You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a... a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right. Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, I guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. I'm sorry you're caught up in this. Well... I guess their gold still shining, and their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm yeah, I do like Lenny. Any I, got, one of these I also like uh, the little they missions got. like this because you can see how often uh, okay, interacts yeah. with each person Plus, in the group, and their sort of, you know, sort of you know, sort of relationship with them. Side. I suppose I you can influence that with the like chat options. There are none now, but you do get the ones which just like antagonize. Compliment, accept, or refuse, etc., etc. I think that also has a knock on effect on Arthur's morality. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house. Down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Well, we got some wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Now where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Who's... who's ringing a bell? Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. There they are. Hear that? Someone's on the track. There, a wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're I know, mate. Now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Hey, that looked like dynamite in the back there. It looks like we're on to something. <laughs> I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want the sniper rifle again. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be shady bear. The thing is useful for like. Off the trail. Oh, I don't want. Good enough to me. Fine. The thing's useful for like one shot, maybe. Come on. And then it just becomes burdensome. 
we can get a view on them from that wall up there. Bring your sighted rifle, okay? I'll take the others. You get in cover there. Do you see anything? No. Yes. Yes. Well, there you're all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down okay, there. Okay, Lenny, friendly. you go ahead. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot. Then I'll start shooting. Only because I'm 100% be sure or heard. confident but, hey, that I can hit I'm the dynamite. As far as sniper rifles, like sniper sights go, go these are uh, pretty kid. shite. Give them both barrels of charm. Probably accurate for the time. Wouldn't try anything less. Uh, today is a fine and fabulous day. Have all days, and so may it be. Praise be, my people. What do you know? I hit the dynamite. Praise be, my people. Praise be. <laughs> now, I come in peace to discuss the merits <laughs> of glory and interest you in eternity. <laughs> oh, that was the base of the spine. Okay, he's down. One guy over there. See if I can get him. I hit him. Didn't kill him. Oh, that was in the groin. I think. I think I hit the groin. Gun. They they really have sort of made this place impenetrable, aren't they? Okay, he's getting back up, not anymore. Hey, free ammo. Even if it is only like five rounds per gun. Five, six Quick. rounds. Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. Come on, Lenny. Get in. You're driving. Keep looking. This is just trash. Ah. Oh. Hey, this could be promised. All right, I might be driving. Hey, can you just check the crates first? We need to know what we got. Here. Okay, no, not not what I wanted. All right, I'm this driving. Great. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. 
Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Yeah, but this also feels like... Uh... Alright, now, now I'm in control. Back. Like I wasn't turning yep. the horses, they were kind of going the wrong way. Three less, <laughs> three less racists in the world. That's fine. You don't look like any I just hope folk we deal with. no one shoots this dynamite. That's the big you concern I have right now. Just the opposite. The let's go. Yep. Yep. Leonard, Leonard, Leonard. I'm looking, all right. I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragger. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. That's my better judgment. Just, you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But, no, no, but oh, no. cool. Not a bit Being of a done, scene jump there, thank God. Everyone who counts. Because that is one slow-ass wagon. We notice. Keep it up. You're going to start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. Hey, you got a Springfield rifle. These are fine rifles. No, right. where's my horse? Keep one Let's go and see me. Bo. I hey. got enough time in this uh, recording with you, for one more job. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, and it looks like too. that's like the last. Oh, Anytime, oh. Arthur. Uh, it looks like that's the last sort of job I have to do. Oh my God! I just want to hit the map. <laughs> Everything else is coming up except the map. All oh. right, there it is. Oh wow, that is that is quite a sight. The sunrise. Nice. Most games don't have like anything like this really. Like if you play Fallout, it doesn't have anything like anywhere anything anywhere near this good. Which is obvious really, because Bethesda games aren't I wouldn't say graphically impressive. Only they're only graphically impressive when compared to the previous Bethesda game. Like Fallout 4? Amazing. Compared to Fallout 3 in New Vegas. Possibly Skyrim as well. 
because it's, uh, I guess, it's like the next iteration of that engine. Whereas, yeah, I think Skyrim is game, maybe made with that engine. Like Fallout games uh, before Fall. Game so far has to be, well, Fallout game has to be... that just keep going you know me I'm on official business for the family all right come on You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <sighs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. Oh, my God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? I'm gonna have to go to a stable soon. Around here, they don't even just like to sort of buy voting. supplies for Bring back the, the horse. Monarchy, given half the chance. I'm gonna make an attempt to look after the horse properly parts. this time round. Because in the others, incest. the horse has been shot. Me. I don't want to uh, marry my cousin usually, Matilda. like, I, I run out of Penelope. food for it and so on. But, they're gonna... but I'm gonna make an attempt to uh, keep an eye on it this time. Holden. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There! Yeah. There they are! Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed! I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please! Do what? Fight this mob? They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what, oh, Arthur. your friend here can drive the wagon You do find yourself in some weird situations, don't you? Hooray! 
Who? Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally, I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a <laughs> protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> we're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch the now, water. Now, now, take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Beggar Roads, Mr. Come come what was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm uh, just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger. What is that statue of? Oh, who is that statue of? Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. You sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Well, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. Ladies! Get down! Come on! Come on! Come on! Go home! Shut your mouth! What the hell is going on? The speech that no one is listening to. Day for all of us. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. All right, now everyone can listen to the speech. Because all of us just just is left. As the founding fathers intended. All the noise makers in there. Founding fathers, not founding mothers. You oh. see? Yeah, everyone is good. His philosophy dependent hey. on. Yeah, I'm sure it was a lovely speech. What are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. Yeah, you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Well, Haven't you got sir. anything better to do? Uh, oh, you always will. Bo, where don't we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Right? Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. <laughs> Let's go. Quick now. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. The future. A land of equality. A land of progress. Look at the beautiful land we have built. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are I my can't primary run. concern right uh, now. What? If everyone knows about Penelope this and me, a weird time to... everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean? We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasures. 
You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful! Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. Look at that. $30 I will. and I as didn't even have As soon as I have enough money, anyone. when my family... Easy we money. We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? All oh, right. Well, yes. I think I'm going to call it a well, day I here, so. ladies but, and gents. Uh, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, one last time, though, leave a like and a comment for the episode. It would help a great deal. So um, and if you haven't done yes. so already, do consider oh, hitting that joke. subscribe button. You know you want I to. Really love it uh, I all do. helps. Well, Just do one, around. two, or all Maybe three. Any little well. helps. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Well, um, if you wait around for the I end screen go. as me well, too. you oh, will see two my suggestions of walkthroughs on my channel that you might take an interest in. I think they're tailored. One of them is the most recent, and the other one is tailored specifically for you, the viewer. I hope you've all hope you all enjoy I uh, hope you all enjoyed the walkthrough so far. Hope you're enjoying the commentary. You know how this goes, right? I've done this. I, I pretty okay, much say this. I uh, ramble on through this bit in all of my comment commentary videos. So I'm just gonna cut this bit short. Hope you all enjoyed. I look forward to seeing you next time. But for now, though, you have a great day, and I'll see you then. Ta-da.